Hi, Phil here, and on this video I'm going to show you how to create a Zubbit link. First of all, from your back office, you go to the Links tab, and you can create two types of links. So on this video I'm going to show you how to create a basic short link, and you, which you can add retargeting to. So all you do is press Create Retargeting Link. That comes up with this little pop-up. Now, next job is to grab the URL of the website that we want to um, create a link for. So, uh, let's, I'm going to use this particular website here. That's got a really, really long URL that we want to shorten up. So we'll copy and paste that back in, put it in that box there. We'll give it a give it name to remind ourselves what it is. We'll call it link one. Press save now. All that will do is create me a short link version of that website. So that's good to go. I can start using that um, wherever I want to use it. But if I want to add retargeting pixels, I go over to the retargeting tab. It's got a list of all the pixels that I've currently got loaded on the system, and I've got another page on the website to show you how to um, add pixels to Zubbit. All I've got to do is click on the ones that I want to add in. It goes over to the box on the right here. If I want to drop one off, I just click it. It goes back. I have Customized tab. That lets me either stick with the um, the basic Zubbit, zub.it domain, or I can pick one of my own domains. I've got a couple of extra one loaded in. Um, but you can add your own domain names in as well if you want to create your own branded short link. And what this will do is when I press save, it will create kind of a random six-digit short link. Um, but if you want to put something specific in, maybe it was your name, maybe it's your company name, product name, or this particular offer name or whatever, you can drop it in this box here and press save. So if I press save now, okay, and that's loaded that into the, um, the top of the grid here. So you can see we've got link one. There's the title. It's a retargeting link. Um, if I press test, that will fire it up, and there we go. And it basically forwards it straight over to that end website. But we've got our retargeting pixels in there, so anybody clicking on that link now would have been added to whatever custom audiences you wanted to add them to. And by clicking that test button, that doesn't register a click on our system. So if you want to test it without registering clicks, it's skewing your stats, then you press test. Otherwise, you press copy. I'm going to press copy. Then go to another tab there we go we can see the short code there that's the short link that it's generated if i press return there we go we go straight through to that website so it's as easy as that that's your first zubit short link